to my channel so for today's video it's going to be another weekly vlog and we're actually going to be putting up our christmas tree which i've been waiting for since last year to do again um so yeah it's just going to be a fun little vlog so if you guys enjoy it make sure to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get in with the video so before we start decorating the tree we've just come and got a kfc me and ben have got two more teaser crushums which are our favorite we've got Cans of bites, barbecue ones, because they're unreal. They're unreal. Lana's got a popcorn chicken, mm. and we've also got a 12 bonus banquet. That's basically all for them. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our food, and then we'll crack on and decorate the tree and show you guys, and yeah, you can see the whole process. <laughs> So we are just about to decorate the Christmas tree and everything is basically from the range or my decorations. I might use some from last year as well which are from Keydale Nurseries which is just like a garden centre near me. Um, so yeah I'm gonna start decorating the tree, I'll probably show you guys after, I'll do a little time lapse so you can see. And yeah that's about it so let's get decorated. <laughs> Okay, so I've actually had a change of heart with my tree. So I was actually going to go pink and white, but I actually prefer the red and white theme because ever since I've put these lollies in, I just feel like they've made the tree. So I've kind of got like the white gonks going on and the white little bows and the present. But I really need to go get some more decorations from the range, like some big red baubles because there's so many gaps. So this is it so far. But I just thought I'd say this is literally not done. I need to go get loads of new decoration and then I will update you guys with the finished result. Okay, so it is the next day. And as you would have saw, we put the Christmas tree up last night, but we need to get a few more decorations. So we've just been to our Kidal's nursery, which is like a little garden centre. And we actually made a really cute purchase of a new nutcracker. So I'll show you guys when we get home. Um, but we've now come to the range because I need to get some more red and white baubles. And yeah, we'll show you guys when we get inside and show you the new decorations. So guys, we've just come out of the range and it was literally a shambles. It was stripped. There was no baubles. So we're going to have to go back to Keydale. But we've just got a Costa. So I got, of course, the pigs in blanket panini. Me too. And then the after eight hot chocolate. So we're just going to enjoy that now. And then we're going to head back to Keydale's and then we'll show you and give you a little haul of everything we have picked up. So guys, we are back from our shop and I thought I'd do a little haul. So I just got four of these little lollipops which you like poke in the tree, which I thought would look really cute. We got two of the big lollipops as well, which you like poke in the tree. And then we also picked up these candy canes. We got two of them as well. And then we also got six of this style of bauble and six of these ones. Literally in the range, they were stripped and there was no red baubles. So we had to get these. We just got them from the Kidal, so they were a bit more pricey. But I'm just glad we got them now and we can obviously reuse them every other year. And then we also got this nutcracker, which is just unreal. It's going to go with the theme really nicely as well. So I will show you guys when it's all done. So as you guys walk in, you will see I've got a really big gonk here which is literally so cute. So I got this last year in John Lewis. Sorry about the ring light. This room is so dark, so I need to put the ring light on. But yeah, as I was saying, I got this from John Lewis last year in the sale. It was like half price. It is literally huge and it's so cute. So I've just popped that by the door. And then I've also popped my Nutcracker from last year, which I brought from Kidal's, which is where I literally got all my decorations from this year to go with my theme so moving on as you guys can see i've used the candy cane which i brought um and i've just popped that on the tree as well so i've also got these beautiful gonks which were like one pound 70 which is an absolute bargain um so i got these from the range i have tried to look on the website to see if they've still got any because when i went to store they didn't have any but i can't seem to see them on the website so i'm really gutted about that because i would have loved to get some more because they're just so cute they're really minimal um and 
then I've just got the ball balls, which I also brought from the garden centre, which are so cute. So I got these ones, and then I also got this style as well. And then I've also got the lollipops, which I feel just make the tree. So I've got this style. Then I've also got like these little sweets, which are just so cute again. I've also got some bows, which were from the range again. I have got uh, the range Christmas haul already on my channel which you guys can see everything I've brought. So head over to that if you want to know where a lot of my decorations are from. I've also got these little presents, which again are from the range. I couldn't see them in there when I went into store. They might have them now. They might have restocked, but these were literally like 99p. So an absolute steal. Then I've just got these baubles. I used these last year um, to go with my pink theme. So I'm just reusing them, but they are absolutely beautiful. So I have this style. And then I've also got these ones, which just look so expensive. Expensive. Then I've got another one of the big lollipops, which I love. Um, so I've just popped that here. Then I've just got another candy cane, which is this side. And I've also got these little reindeers, which I think are so cute. So I actually think I got these from B&M or like Home Bargains last year. I think it might have been Home Bargains now I think about it. And these come in like a pack of six. They were super cheap and I just love them. They go with all my other decorations. So I've just popped a few of them in as well then around the back i've just got this little penguin which i think was from last year um i think i got this from the range again they do really great decorations and they're so affordable so yeah this is what the tree is currently looking like and i absolutely love it so i actually got this tree from asda last year it was about 45 pound and i'm pretty sure it's like a six foot um and it's just as you can see the snowy tipped tree so it is a pre-light tree which is so handy because that means i don't need to put the lights around the tree um and then i have forgot to say i just got this glittered white star and i'm pretty sure this was from home bargains it was like 99p but yeah absolutely love that and i feel like it goes with everything so this is my tree which i absolutely love so it just looks like this i am thinking of getting some more like red baubles just to fill a few of the gaps but yeah other than that i'm literally obsessed with it i'm so happy i changed my theme because i generally feel so happy with the way it has turned out and then i know you guys want to see my lovely new nutcracker so i also got this nutcracker from keydales which again is the garden center local to me and when i saw this i knew i had to get him they did do a taller version of him which I think was like £118, which I was going to get. But what you do find with nutcrackers is they do mark so easily. So as you can see with this one, he has got a little bit of red lining and like a little mark here. And sometimes you find like their nose and faces are chipped. All the ones in there which were taller, they all had like really noticeable chips. And I just thought for the money, I don't want something which i can already see is like scratched up so this was the best one of the smaller version he looks so good and um, especially against the tree like look at this like look how amazing that looks especially when all the lights are on and it's dark and yeah it just gives you all the cozy festive feel and then i've also got this nutcracker which was from last year and i actually got this in like a christmas shop which opened up last year in like my little shopping center and yeah i really liked it so it's just sequins and it's gold and red and i just thought he looks really cute against the candy cane so i've popped them two next to each other so then i also have this little decoration which is behind the tree and it just says tis the season oscar to be jolly and as you guys would have known if you have been following me for a while my dog recently has passed away so he grew up with me all throughout my childhood and he meant a lot to us as a family and when i I walked into Keydale's that was just staring at me so I knew it was a sign and I had to get it so I also got this lovely gift from Ben where he actually brought me a picture of him which is 3d inside like glass and it literally looks amazing I think it is picking up on camera I'm not too sure but if you guys can see that like look how incredible that is it just looks insane so i've just popped that up there as well then i've got this little bear which is from winter wonderland then actually won it for me on a game and i've just popped that up there and then i've just got two larger nutcrackers so the one on the right is from b m i think and the one on the left is from matalan i just love both of these and i love the color of the blue one especially because it's like an icy blue and i've also got this one which is really tiny and i'm pretty sure i brought this from primark so yeah i've just popped these all behind the tree just to make it really nice and festive. <laughs>
So it is currently the evening, but I just thought I'd show you guys a few things I picked up when I went to town today. So I nipped into like Primark and Lush. I only picked up a few little bits, but I still thought I'd show you guys because some of the bits are really cute. So starting with Primark. Also, really sorry about the lighting. It started to get really dark in the evenings. So obviously the lighting is really off. Um, but I just picked up this brown chocolate looks a bit black on camera but it's a chocolate colour um, hat and I just thought this would be really great for winter and um, it was £3 and I just I don't really suit hats I never get hats but we're going to winter wonderland next week um so i thought this would look really cute obviously in like pictures as well i literally don't suit them at all like yeah i don't suit hats then i also picked up these khaki cycling shorts which i thought really nice again i don't think it's picking it up on camera it just looks like black um they had really cute sets but they had no sizes whatsoever because there's a really nice um nude beige set which i really wanted but yeah they had no sizes then i got a lot of socks because they had some really cute socks in so i just got these for two pound fifty and as you can see they've got like some reindeers candy canes gingerbread men which i thought was so cute um some like light and I think them ones say like naughty or nice. Then I got these ones. I wear trainer socks all the time, but I normally just wear white and black. Um, and I saw these and they were like chocolate brown and they had some really cute patterns on. So I just thought I might get some of them just to mix up and they're great just to lounge in. Then I also picked up two cozy socks, which I love these. They're just so perfect. Um, obviously for winter, my feet get really cold as well. And um, so these were two pound and these are just in like a leopard print and just a chocolate colour so i loved them as well and then last but not least i just picked up a new pair of black leggings full length ones these are really thick as well which is great and um, they only had a size medium or large so i got medium but i think i should have got a small and um, because they're so stretchy so yeah i'm gonna see how they go but they're just perfect just to lounge around in the house in again and then i popped into lush because i'm actually going to london with ben next week and we're going back to park plaza so i know they've got a bath and i had to take full advantage of getting the bath bombs i got this one it's a little holly leaf one and it's really glittering green i just thought that is so beautiful and it smells unreal so i'm gonna give that one a go and then i also picked up the classic snow fairy i've never actually used the bath bomb though but it's so beautiful and this one smells absolutely insane like, look at the little glitter bit as well on the front so yeah i got that one as well i can't wait to use that then the only other things i picked up from the range today was these little ribbons which have got gonks all over it i'm gonna actually try and do like some really nice bows and make my wrapping and presents really nice and presentable this year so i thought i'd get these i think they were like a pound but i just thought they were super cute and they'll go really nicely with the gonk wrapping paper i brought also from the range so i think i'm gonna finish off the vlog here i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys very soon with another new video bye <music>